Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to do 4,000 subscriber Q&A. So before we get into the questions, I want to thank all of you for helping me reach this milestone. I honestly never thought when I started this channel back in April of 2020, which was last year, I didn't expect to even come close to this. But thank you all so, so much for all the support. It really means the world to me. I mean, uh, without YouTube, I'd have um, really not a lot to do with my free time. So you guys... Thank you so much. You really, and I know everyone says this, so it doesn't mean anything to you guys, but you really do mean the world to me. So thank you, uh, and I will now get into the questions which you guys uh, seem to really like. I did a poll either for a Minecraft live stream, which I know Let's Talk Election does, and those do pretty well, or another Q&A, and I thought that you guys were getting bored of Q&As, so you wanted to do a live stream, but apparently not. A Q and A got like sixty percent of the vote, but we're f but for five thousand subscribers, or I might do something for for when we hit a million views, we're at like at nine hundred thousand views. Um, but you know something like that, a Minecraft live stream could be in the future. So if you did vote for a Minecraft live stream, then you know don't be too disappointed. So let's get started with the questions. The kid Kluki asks, "Do you think that the Republican Party will go forward with establishmentarians like McConnell and Romney, or with Trumpism and America First candidates in the future?" Now, this is actually really hard to predict because Donald Trump just lost an election, but I think they're going to do something in the middle. They're going to do, uh, you know, Trumpism without Trump. Trump is not going to run again, I think, after what happened in D.C. on January 6th. But I do think that there are going to be Trumpist candidates, like even, you know, like Matt Gates, for example, or even, you know, candidates like Kelly Loeffler, who Kelly Loeffler is probably not going to run again. But, uh, you know, Kelly Loeffler essentially ran as a Trump type candidate, but, you know, she touted her 100 percent voting record with Trump. Um, but she wasn't Trump, and some Trump scores didn't vote for her. So I think they're going to go Trumpism without Trump, but I don't think it's going to be very successful. So I don't know where, where they're going to go after that. Jonathan Miller asks, If you were president, what is the first executive order you'd sign? Just a hypothetical. Also, congrats on 4K. Thank you. And if I were president, the first executive order I'd sign, well, right now, I'd probably, you know, in, in terms of an executive order, I'm not sure, but I would push for a vote on two thousand dollar stimulus checks uh i'm not sure whether the president has the power to do that i actually haven't done my research on that but if if this is you know 2040 or 2050 which is when i'm eligible to run for president in the 2040s uh i don't know i mean i'm trying to think of what problems would come to mind you know or would come uh that you know what problems would be visible or not visible but relevant at the time i'm trying to think I mean, I guess, hypothetically, I could uh, sign an executive order getting everyone who's arrested for marijuana or uh, minor drug offenses out of jail. I guess that's one I could do. There are probably more important ones, but I'll have to think about that. Um, uh, another one from Jonathan Miller. Do you think another riot could happen like the one that happened yesterday? By yesterday, I think he means uh, January 6th. I'm scared. Uh, I mean, that was scary, but I don't think that's going to happen again, to be honest. Uh, especially after people are getting arrested for it and the whole country saw how bad it was. If anything, if it does happen, it'll happen on January 20th when Biden is inaugurated, whether it's virtually or uh, in D.C., but whatever. We'll have to see. I I really hope it doesn't happen, but it, it's always a possibility. Caden Bernstein Lawler asks, <coughs> Who from history deserved to be president but was not? And, and who from history did not was? This is actually a really good question. I think... There are a lot of people who deserve to be president, but didn't Al Gore should have should have won the twenty should have won the two thousand election? Samuel J. Tilden in eighteen seventy six. Uh, William Jennings Bryan actually didn't win the popular vote when he ran three times, but he actually tried super hard. He actually biked across the whole country and gave like ten speeches in a day. Uh, he actually uh, definitely he was actually thirty six when he first ran. He was also I think the youngest person to get a major party's nomination. So I think William Jennings Bryan deserve to get be president um you know there are other people too i mean there are others <clears throat> but yeah who mystery did not uh, deserve to be president but was president um i mean uh i mean willie no no Will, no right was that william mckinley i'm not entirely sure whether it's uh william mckinley or not i think it is william mckinley and mckinley actually wasn't a bad president I don't really have any huge problems with him, but I do think uh, that he didn't really campaign against, because he ran against William Jennings Bryan, and he didn't really campaign, he literally sat on his porch and gave like one speech a week, so, yeah, but, you know, 
more recently, I, I guess Warren G. Harding because he is super corrupt. Do you think the 25th Amendment will happen? No. Uh, do you think a much larger riot before the inauguration will happen? No. Q&A. How long do you take on recording and editing per day? So I don't upload every day, but when I do upload, I it depends, like, if it's an election night, it takes me, like, you know, 20 to 25 minutes to film, depending on, you know, you know, you, you guys know it's up with election nights. Um, and then I guess I have to put the music in the background on iMovie, so that takes a little while, but it, it, it's not too bad. I don't have to edit my videos for, like, three hours a day. Uh, my, my Light Troll Call video actually took, like, a few days to edit after filming it, but, yeah, that was basically it. So, actually, I know Tim Talks Football, actually, he, uh, he, he edits his videos a lot more than I do, so you should go, go check out his channel if, if, if you haven't checked out mine, but... Yeah, I mean, definitely, I spend, a, a, like, I'd say on days I upload, I spend half an hour. So, not too much. But depends on the video. Is Georgia going to be like Virginia, blue trending state? North Carolina flipped once and takes forever to flip again. It's definitely going down the route of Virginia. I mean, we've seen a consistent pattern rest for North Carolina. Like, in 2000, I think Gore lost it by, like, 9 or 10%. And then Kerry in 2004 lost it by 13 Then it flipped to Obama. And then it went back to Romney to Trump twice. So... I think North Carolina is going to be a tilt state for either party for a while until it goes full on Virginia mode in like the 2030s. But, you know, being realistic, Georgia has been trending blue for a very long time. I mean, t since 2008, Democrats have been getting, well, excuse me, uh, 2008, Democrats narrowed it down to only a 5% margin of victory for John McCain. But in 2012, it reverted back to like an eight-point Republican state. But since then, you know, in, in the 2014 midterms, Michelle Nunn gave David Perdue a run for his money in that Senate race. In 2016, Clinton she only lost the state by 4.8%, I believe. In 2018, Stacey Abrams only lost the gubernatorial election to Brian Kemp by 1%. And then Biden flipped it. And then, you know, a, a few months later, Warnock and Ossoff both improved on his margins. And Warnock's going to win by over two points. And Ossoff's going to win you know, by one and a half percent. So I think George is for certainly closer to Virginia in that regard. Favorite presidential candidate following these for 2024. I hate all these candidates. Kamala Harris, Tulsi Gabbard, Nikki Haley, AOC. Um, they're all bad. I think Kamala Harris is too establishmentarian. Tulsi Gabbard, as a left-leaning centrist, I don't, I think Tulsi Gabbard doesn't respect L LGBTQ rights, and that's a big issue to me because I think it's, because it's absolutely ridiculous that we're debating people having rights in 2021 uh and she's you know and, uh, nikki haley i don't really hate her too much but i think she didn't stand up to trump and in my opinion that is not a good thing and aoc is all talk no action in my opinion i know there are a lot of people who disagree with that and you know there are a lot of progressives and, and i'm actually interested to see and to be fair aoc hasn't really had any opportunities to do much so far so i'm going to give her a, a, another chance but like she likes to talk a lot and she gets into fights within the party, which I don't like. So, yeah. But I guess Kamala Harris. Uh, question. After the Capitol riots, do you think the Republican Party will do worse in 2022 midterms than originally forecasted from Sherlock Times? Hi, Sherlock. Yes, definitely. Harold Brick asks, number one, would you ever consider making a second channel? If, if yes, what would it be about? Now, I do have social media other than YouTube, but I mostly focus on politics and history. Um, but... If we're talking about a second channel on YouTube, I think it'd be gaming, you know, I play, I don't, you know, for those of you who don't know, I actually do play other video games, and I'll name them, I play Hypixel, which is Minecraft, I used to play Minecraft a lot back in the day, and I've started to get back into it over quarantine, just a little bit, like, I'm not as big of a Minecraft fan as I was, like, in 2016, for example, but, yeah, uh, Among Us is another good one, uh, the Madden NFL is... I play Madden with my friends a lot, but if I did make a second channel, it would probably just be gaming. I'd probably just film myself playing Minecraft or Bed Wars or whatever. Number two is Shrek going in the 2024 election. Uh, you know, the polls haven't been good for him lately, but I think he can make a comeback. Nicholas Little. Since Joe Biden's going to be sworn in, the Democrats will have control of the Senate. Will the Republicans possibly take back the House in 2022 midterms like they did under Obama? After the riots, I'm not sure, but the thing the Republicans have going for them is that it's going to be a Biden midterm. The thing they don't have going for them is that, A, they really messed up with the riots and they just lost a lot of support. Like, literally, they lost a lot of support. And B, the House of Representatives is much more reflective of, of the popular vote than the Senate is. And if the Democrats, and, you know, 
Like, like even in 2018, which was low turnout compared to 2020, the Democrats still had a very good year in the House. So I think since the country is so polarized, the Republicans shot themselves in the foot with the House because you get more higher turnout, and the higher the turnout, the better that is for Democrats. So I would think that the, that, that the House is a complete toss-up at this point. We'll, we'll have to see, you know, who runs and all that stuff. But thanks for the question. Blake's Films, how do you make your videos? How do you make predictions? I use YPMS.com for my predictions. You can go check it out. It's a pretty good website. Um, and I use Loom Screen Recorder to record my videos. Um, but to make my election nights, I just use Keynote. Do you think that tr the Trump wing of the Republican Party will split off and form a third party? No, that's not going to happen. People say it's going to happen. Trust me, it's not going to happen. 2040, is there still a Republican Party? Absolutely. Who do you think the most likely 2024 candidate is for each party at the moment? The Democrats, it's probably going to be Kamala Harris if Joe Biden doesn't run again. Uh, if Biden does run again, which there's like a one in three chance of that happening, it's going to be Biden, but probably going to be Kamala Harris. For the Republicans, it's more open. Um, but I'm going to say maybe Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley. I think it's, it's going to come down to, to, to the you know moderate neocons with Haley and the paleocons with DeSantis. We'll have to see. Which party do you feel do you affiliate with the most? The Democratic Party, probably. Why did you start this channel in the first place? I was bored and I uh, needed an outlet for talking about politics. Old Man Jenkins asks, "What do you think the, about Trump and the protests going on right now?" Um. Well, obviously they were horrible. I think those people should be arrested. But regarding Trump, I. I, I don't think th he obviously didn't tell them to attack the Capitol, but his his language is usually divisive, and I think that he's he, he can be very polarizing and dangerous. Um, what do you use to record Loom? What do you think the Democrats are going to do since they control all three branches of government? Uh, they're not going to be able to do too much. I think the Republicans are going to filibuster a lot, and people say you know Joe Manchin is a big obstacle. Joe Manchin actually never votes against his party when it matters. Like there's only one big vote he took against the Democrats, and that was. Um, uh, the Kavanaugh vote, but if you think about it, like, say Manchin voted against Kavanaugh, it would have been a 49-49 to tie, um, and then you just bring Mike Pence in, and he votes for Kavanaugh, and, and Kavanaugh gets confirmed, and then Joe Manchin possibly loses re-election in West Virginia, because remember, that was a month before his re-election. Um, but I think they're going to try to make D.C. and Puerto Rico states. I think that's a big one for a lot of Democrats, because it, it gets them House seats and Senate seats, and it helps them win elections in the future. Slot flop. What do you think uh, will be the long-term effects of the riots at the Capitol? Will the suburbs swing harder blue, or the Republicans recover in times of mid? No, the suburbs are going to be blue for a very long time. This riot did not help them at all in the suburbs. It hurt them a lot. And as we saw, you know, Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue did not do well in the suburbs. Um, you know, the suburbs are taking a hard swing towards Democrats, and I think they're going to stay that way for a while. Al Gore. Well, number one was the first election you watched. 2016 was the first I watched live, but I knew a bit about 2014 midterms um, because it was the first election I remember my parents voting in. Number two, do you think that Mitt Romney would have been a good president? I think he would have been all right. He would have been similar to Bush, except he wouldn't have started the war in Iraq. Um, but 2012 was definitely the least consequential election in, in a very long time. Uh, who won the Georgia Senate races? Both the Democrats. Ryan Cobble. What do you think of the 1876 election? Uh, Tilden should have won. I'm actually glad he didn't win because he was a racist. Um, you know, but he should have won. And I think that, to be quite frank, it's stupid that the courts decided that, or that an electoral commission decided and just gave, um, all the contested electoral votes to Rutherford B. Hayes, but whatever. I wasn't alive and it didn't really affect me too much, so, yeah. Are you for Biden or Trump? The election's over, but... I mean, I guess I'd say I'm more for Biden than I am for Trump, but there are some things that I agree with Trump on. Will the Republican Party split in the future? No, I don't think they're going to split in the future, to be completely honest. How unbiased do you think your videos are? This is a good question. Now, I think, in terms of bias, of course, I'm going to lean to the left, but the interesting thing is, I've actually gotten a lot more comments, especially recently, that have been a right-wing channel, and people have speculated about my political views. I've seen, you know, comments saying I'm a slight Republican, uh others you know saying that i'm definitely a democrat so i actually think my videos are more unbiased than a lot of people's but of course they're not perfect so i think I'm pretty good at it to be honest um with, with you i know i'm trying not to come off here as an arrogant person but i think i'm pretty good at not being too biased but of course i'm going to have my moments where i am biased um so yeah
mysterious questions. If the Democrats end up not not using the 25th Amendment and go for Trump directly through impeachment, what are the chances they will succeed? I think uh, succeed f- to, in, in terms of removing him from office, there's a, maybe a one in five chance, maybe no, more like one in three chance. It's going to have to happen after January 20th, so they'll hold a vote. And recently, Pat Toomey actually came out and said that he'd vote to remove Trump from office, or said that he, that he believed Trump committed committed impeachable offenses so yeah but i do think that we could see you know because the democrats need like what 60 votes to remove trump from office they'll come close they're definitely get gonna get a few republicans on board obama what's your first name uh or sorry what's your last name excuse me why did biden win thin, by thin margins in, from normal in wisconsin pennsylvania 20k and 80k in his home state but won michigan by 150,000 well michigan is bluer than the rust belt states it has a better not better. It it has uh, a more, it has a larger block of black voters, which as we know are very demo- solid democratic voters, and also, uh, you know, taking a look at like Obama obviously did very well in, in those states. You know, he won them he, in two thousand eight. He won all of them by double digits. In two thousand twelve, he won them by like seven to ten percent. He won them by likely margins, I believe. But before that, you know, John Kerry, he only won Wisconsin by point, like by point five percent. He won it by a similar margin as Biden. He only won Pennsylvania by like three percent. Uh, Gore only won Wisconsin by one percent. So, Obama, Obama's success masked the fact that you know these states are trending to, to, to the right. You know, since Bill Clinton, they've been swing states. Um, so, but I think Michigan is just has a larger black population and it's just a bit bluer. Plus, it has. You know, Wisconsin, for example, has Milwaukee and Madison, which are decently big cities, but, you know, not, not as big as Detroit, Ann Arbor, Lansing, Grand Rapids, for example. Who do you think was the worst president? Uh, probably Franklin Pierce. Are you a Republican or a Democrat? Uh, like I said, I, I don't agree with 100% of the policies of either party, but I'm probably more of a Democrat. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on Representative Kin- Kinzinger rebuking Trump for the invasion of the Capitol and recommending the 25th Amendment? Do you think it will have an impact on his rumored potential bid for governor against J.B. Pritzker? I actually haven't, I actually hadn't heard about Kinzinger possibly running for governor against J.B. Pritzker. I mean, it's interesting because I think he, that he'd be able to get some of the more moderate vote. Plus, if if Pritzker, I mean, I don't know too much about J.B. Pritzker, uh, but if he's unpopular. Uh, which, you know, he, he's not too popular from what I've heard, but if he's, you know, super unpopular and if Kinzinger, you know, in, in, in a blue state like Illinois, if he runs as an anti-Trump, Mark Kirk type Republican, or even, you know, Bruce Warner type Republican or Republicans who have won in the past, and they have low enough turnout from Cook County, then he, and Kinzinger can absolutely win uh, that election by essentially getting the moderate Democrat vote. So, yeah, I think he could. Uh, I, I think it will help him in, in, in his room if he does run for governor in 2022. But I don't think he'd win as of right now. But we'll have to see. He could win, absolutely. Who would win, Pence or Sanders? If, if it's a 2020, I mean, if, if Trump's the incumbent, I think I think Sanders would narrowly win. But I don't I don't, I don't, don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Do you believe Trump will be a candidate for 2024? And also, do you believe if he was a candidate, excuse me, he would choose Mike Pence as a VP nominee? Thanks, you're a great YouTuber. Thank you. Um, no, in 2024, I, I think he chooses, like, Ron DeSantis, Matt Gates, Paul Gosar, Andy Biggs, I'm not sure exactly, but probably not Pence, it, like, Pence and him aren't speaking, apparently, Pence unfollowed Trump on Twitter, they're apparently not in a good relationship right now. Do you think Trump has a better shot at winning in 2024? No, he essentially killed the chance with the DC riots, I think he'd get destroyed. Now, the question everyone's been waiting for, do you have a girlfriend? And that question is not going to be answered. So thank you all for watching this video. Please like it, by the way. Y'all are free to speculate. I don't really care. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much for 4,000 subscribers. Hope we can get to 5,000 by the end of February. I think we can. So thank you all. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.